Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. I'm making a teardown or disassembly video today on a ThinkPad T460. I'll show you how to get inside and how to access the various components in the computer. So first things guys, shut your computer down, power it down the correct way, make sure your charge is removed. We're then going to flip it over to access your screws. Before doing that, we're going to remove this, this external battery here. You have one clip there, one clip here. You're going to push on them and slide them to the unlocked position to remove this battery. Once you remove this battery, there are three screws underneath it that you need to remove. You have two screws here on the right hand side of the screen, two screws here on the left, and you have four screws down bottom on that edge. Once you remove the screws, you're looking at this for the inside of your computer. As a side note guys, if you need any help with any tools or supplies, there'll be a link above, also below in the description to my Amazon store where you can see a lot of the things that I use in my shop. Now before touching anything in a computer guys, you're always best to limit as much as you can the power running through it so that you don't damage anything. We've already unplugged it, shut it off, uh, removed the external battery, but this computer, you may have an internal battery. If you do, you would unplug it right down here you would pull that plug down to get it out of that port. Don't pull on the wires, but that black plug there, grip it with your fingernails on either end or a pair of pliers, pull it straight down out of that plug. Once your battery is unplugged, the computer is safe to work on and go into further. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you is right here to the left. This is your hard drive, or if you have a SATA solid state drive, that's where this will be. It's plugged into the motherboard right here and it screws in with a single screw right here near the speaker on the left. So once you remove that screw, this will pull to the left and unplug from the motherboard. Uh, the hard drive caddy that it's in, unlike other caddies that are screwed to the hard drive, they're usually screwed with two screws here, two screws here. Uh, this one just pulls off of your hard drive so you can replace that no problem. Just as a side point, this is a 2.5 inch SATA, S-A-T-A drive, uh, hard drive or solid state. Uh, you can fit in here. Next thing I'll show you is the RAM up here underneath this black shield. After you remove that shield, this is what you're looking at for RAM. Uh, you have two RAM ports, two RAM sticks, and each RAM is held in by a metal spring-loaded arm on either side. So to get your RAM out, you very gently put your fingers on both of those arms and slide them away from your RAM, uh, pry them apart. The RAM will release, and in most cases, it'll even pop up a little bit. You can slide the RAM out that way. If you're thinking of upgrading your RAM, guys, make sure you upgrade just to what the computer can handle. Um, having too much RAM won't hurt your computer. Your computer just won't be able to access it and you'll just waste money. So if you want to max out your RAM, make sure you know what your computer maxes out at. If you need any help with your specific model, let me know. This is your CMOS battery here. It's wrapped in yellow electrical tape and it's stuck on by double-sided tape. So you can just pop that off. Uh, it's plugged into your uh, motherboard right here. You would simply unplug it, pull down out of that port. That's how you get that out. So if you're looking to reset BIOS manually, if you're looking to change that uh, for any sort of BIOS issues, that's where you would find that item. This is your Wi-Fi card under this shield. They loved shields in this model. They have them everywhere. Uh, this is your Wi-Fi card. It's held in by a single screw here. And these are your two antenna wires that run up through here. So these antenna wires just pop off straight up, pull out of the computer straight up. They unsnap from your Wi-Fi card that single screw will release it, and then it'll slide out of its port on the left, much like a RAM stick. This is your fan connected right here to your vent, and this is your heat sink that comes down here and takes heat away from your CPU. So to get this off, you would unscrew it here. I think that's the only screw. It's been a while since I worked on this. These are old photos, but I think that's your only screw uh, holding the fan down. And then of course you have these four screws here above the CPU. After you get the heatsink assembly up, this is your CPU. Unfortunately, guys, this is integrated into your motherboard. This is not a removable CPU. So um, unfortunately, you can't upgrade the CPU. You'd have to upgrade the motherboard. But if you're looking to clean the thermal paste off here, this is where you do it. You would clean all the thermal paste off of here, all of it off the underside of your heatsink, and then you would reapply. Uh, so that's how you would do that if that's why you're here. Last thing I'll call out is your speakers down here. Speaker wires run along here on the bottom and they plug in right here on the, on the motherboard. 
Uh, so those are your speakers if you need to replace those. Okay, so that's our video. I hope it was helpful and it allowed you to do what you were trying to do. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated. If you need to leave me a comment or question, please do. I do try to get to those as often as possible. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And now I'll leave you with a quick word from my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description.